So tell me, what in the hell is an NFT? Non-fungible tokens, my friend, are different forms of cryptocurrency, such as Bitcoin, and the clue is really in the name. So if an item is fungible, this simply means that it can easily be replaced by something that is identical. So a $20 bill is a really good example of this. If you lend one to a friend, you won't notice if you're given a different $20 bill back, right? A non-fungible assets are actually the complete opposite. So imagine a number one trainer Pokemon card, one of the rarest in the game's existence, with just seven believed to be in circulation. Now, it may look like a normal card from a distance, but if it's distinctive in its qualities, it makes it completely different from the others. So if you lent that to a friend and got a different card back, I'm assuming you would be pretty upset. Now, non-fungible tokens bring this rarity and scarcity to the blockchain, and they allow digitized versions and collectibles to be created. So one of the earliest examples of NFTs that came into form were the CryptoKitties, which gave enthusiasts this chance to create all these digital cats. Now, someone paid 600 ETH to get this rare kitty, which in today's rates would be worth an eye-opening $1 million. Now, enthusiasts believe that non-fungible tokens could shake up this whole world of art and gaming and offering tangible improvements to both sectors. And in recent months, we have really seen this digital artwork and masterpieces of prestigious auctions of houses go for hundreds of dollars. And for course creators, NFT could transform the experience for their clients where they don't only just invest in the mission, but they actually also have access to the utility over the time and the proportion of that access. Now these accesses and these different assets could potentially be exchanged for cash when you put it back into the real market. So the ownership is really, really, uh, transformational for different course creators, leaders, and even book authors to be able to bring their community in, have a tokenized experience to the utility for maybe access for a full year of coaching or a short 90 day sprint, and then be able to even sell it on the secondary market. And then that person actually then gets access. So there is so much to be played with here, but that's the difference between an NFT and a fungible token. And I'm gonna be going a lot deeper than this in these short snippets. So stay tuned, there's more to come. And I am here to empower the creator economy, women in the economy, especially in tech, and how average industry professionals like you and service providers can get in, can start to purchase your own NFT, see how it works, and then make one of your own. Let's make it happen. We'll see you on the next one.